today's world, we majorly rely on electricity. From electric cars to all your electronic gadgets, everything needs to be charged. What if I told you that you can get electric power for free, anywhere, anytime? Imagine a world where you can gather energy of your footsteps, tapping fingers and all other movements to charge your phone or your smartwatch. The devices which can make all this a reality are called triboelectric nanogenerators. Triboelectric nanogenerators are based on the principle of charge separation either by friction between two objects. We are all aware of this uh, particular phenomenon of static electricity and people are trying to use it into a device context okay, to get some power out of it in some form. This particular concept is basically for small power applications. Static electricity is an imbalance of electric charges on the surface of a material. Whenever two distinct materials come in contact, they exchange charges, making one positively charged while other negatively. Materials which have such capacity are called triboelectric materials. Scientists came up with a concept to arrange two separate triboelectric materials sandwiched between two electrodes, so they can generate voltage when they come into contact. Researchers at ICER Pune have a unique approach to use natural materials in this nanogenerators. Most of you might not expect one of them to be mustard seeds. Yes, the same that you have in your kitchen. When mustard seeds are shaken in a plastic container, they start to climb up the walls and dance due to electrostatic charging. Let's take a deep look at this. Materials present in the mustard seeds coat are triboelectrically positive, meaning it has a strong tendency to lose electrons and thus achieve a positive charge. To make the nanogenerator work, the second material has to have a tendency to gain electrons. For this purpose, scientists have chosen a material called PVDF. Compared to polythene that we use every day, PVDF has half of the carbons bonded with fluorine instead of hydrogen. Scientists have converted PVDF crystals into nanofabric. Nanofabric is a fabric made up of nanofibers. When mustard seeds and PVDF come into contact, positive charges are induced on mustard seeds and negative on the PVDF surface through charge transfer and an electric potential difference is created generating a positive signal. When the external impact is released leading to a drop in electric potential and reverse flow of electrons and thereby producing a negative signal. Repeated contact and separation thus develops an alternating voltage and current output. Its applications are much more diverse than you might expect. How can you have, for example, uh, the self-powered sensors around ATMs? You know, you can just uh, lay out the nano generator sensors below. As soon as somebody crosses the line, uh, you know, you have the camera switched on. You don't have to put the cameras and power utilize all the time. As soon as somebody crosses, cell power sensor clicks something and they are switched on. Now, we can have soldier technologies where soldiers have all these tents in the remote area, we can have something surrounding that as a protective, you know, triboelectric nanogenerator. As soon as something crosses, uh, you know, then they will be alerted on how to do that. And even the proportional sen sensors will be there. So suppose a cat runs across that, it will, should give a different output than a human being or a terrorist crosses that and so on, because the weights are different and things like that. Let's see how the device is made. Starting from the base, bottommost electrode is PET. Over that, arenlite glue is applied to fixate the mustard seeds. These seeds are spread so as to form a single layer. This layer acts as one of the two triboelectric materials. Above that, copper tape and spacer tape is attached. Copper tape is used to attach wires and spacer tape is to keep some space between two triboelectric materials under uncompressed condition. Now is the time for other half of the sandwich. The second triboelectric material is PVDF nanofiber. Let's see how it is made using electrospinning machine. First, the PVDF solution is filled into the syringe and is placed against the collector. Drum is wrapped with aluminum foil over which PVDF will be collected. When high voltage power supply is given, electric field is created between the needle and the collector. It leads to electrically charged jet ejection forming thin fibers. This is the resulted product. The thin white sheet is PVDF nanofiber collected over the aluminum foil which acts as the topmost electrode. 
The whole device is then sealed by Captain Tape. The device is ready now. This is a triboelectric nano generator. Whenever force is applied, it generates voltage as well as current, which is able to light up 120 LEDs. What's next is some more engineering and industrialization. Fast forward a few years and you will see such devices in your shoes, fitness trackers and even in your smart garments. With this, you no longer have to worry about your cell phone battery running out of charge, thanks to the triboelectric nano generators. <laughs>